Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh uh, First of all, uh, let me introduce myself My name is Ridwan Nusliadi I'm a student of Faculty of Law Doctoral Program in Law Islamic University, Bandung Here it, I would like to present my presentation with the title Polygamy in the Perspective of Islamic Law and Indonesia Positive Law In this presentation, it would be divided into three parts. First part is introduction, the second part is result, and the third part is conclusion. First part is introduction. The purpose of this part article is to find out the legal basis for polygamy in Islamic law and positive law in Indonesia. This paper uses a normative juridical approach with various theories of interpretation. Second part is result. Polygamy is a man who has more than one wife at the same time. In the view of Islam, polygamy can be done if it meets the conditions that are clear in the Quran, namely able to apply fair. The regulation polygamy in positive law seems to make it difficult for husbands to polygamy, while Islamic law itself doesn't make it too difficult for a husband to polygamy. Therefore, these two laws must be in sync with each other so as not to cause problems in marriage, especially polygamy. The third part is conclusion. Implicitly, the Quran laws polygamy but doesn't specify any condition explicitly except only giving warning. Are you sure that polygamy will be able to be fair? Because fairness is very difficult. Meanwhile, the conditions for the permissibility of polygamy according to law number one, 1964, are contained in Article 4, Paragraph 2 and Article 5, Paragraph 1, the formal juridical provisions that form the legal basis for granting polygamy permits are regulated in law number no. 1 of 1974 concerning marriage. Article 3, paragraph 2, junto Article 43, PP 9 of 1975. Presidential instruction number no. 1 of 1991 on KHI Article 56, paragraph 3. Thank you for your attention. Hope this presentation can be useful for you all. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.